Hey everyone, Eric Radvon here with an update on Lady Dark number two. The Kickstarter is moving right along. Um, we're a little bit behind where we'd like to be. We've got 40% uh, of the book funded, but we're about 50% of the way through the campaign, so obviously a little bit of lag there. Uh, however, I am optimistic that we're going to close the gap and, and hit our goal um, we've got 112 backers, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think uh, most of those are new faces, so not a lot of carryover from Lady Dark number one yet. These are new folks who've discovered Lady Dark. And um, yeah, so, you know, at this time in the campaign for Lady Dark one, we were already fully funded. Um, we're, we're obviously well behind that for Lady Dark number two. I kind of anticipated this. I feel like that's part of the... Um, the drop-off in comics between a first issue and a second issue, um, you know, whether it's Spider-Man or Batman or whatever, you see this happen quite a bit. There's a reason why a lot of the big comic companies like Marvel and DC routinely are launching new number ones, even for long established titles and characters. It's just the nature of the market that a first issue attracts more, um, more attention and more energy than, than follow-up issues. Um, but again, 112 backers, about 40% of the way to the goal, hoping in the uh, remaining two weeks we get a nice wave of uh, support and um, can really make this book happen. Um, I am super proud of the uh, comic that we've put together here and um, we'll share some, some pages. So we've got artwork by Emilio Utrera. We've got colors by Arthur Hesley. Uh, these pages are not lettered yet, but we'll have letters by Micah Myers and the words uh, by myself. And, um, you know, I think the uh, Lady Dark 2 is the most professional and uh, tight comic that I've put together to date. I'm really proud of it. Uh, so I'm super hopeful that we meet our goal for the Kickstarter and we're able to, to get this out. Uh, I think I said in one of the previous videos that if I were to do this again, I might call issue one, issue zero, and issue two, issue one. I really feel like this is where um, things take off in an amazing way. Uh, so this creature here is Blood Fist. Uh, he's um, the main antagonist in this issue. Um, you know, here we're, we're seeing some different sides of Laura and her life in this issue as well. And um, yeah, I'm just really excited to bring this together. The the artwork is 100% complete. The color art, we're more than halfway through. I think we're on page 16 or 17 at this point. Uh, so nearly done there. Um, really all that remains is the um, fine tuning of the script and the lettering. So, you know, if we meet our goal, um, this would ship pretty rapidly. So, you know, within a month or two after, um, after wrapping, th these would be fulfilled. So we learned a lot of lessons from, kick uh, from kickstarting issue one. And we took those lessons and, and brought them into issue two. So again, I'm, I'm really proud of the work that's been done. I feel like this is um, you know, the most professional looking comic book that I've, uh, comic book project that I've done to date. And um, yeah, just really hoping that we get a second wind and uh, cross that finish line. We have a pretty good backlog of updates that we'll be sharing in the days ahead. Uh, we have our variant covers from Kath Lobo and Stephen Burks that we'll be unveiling uh, um, next week. And we have some t-shirt designs that we'll be showing as well. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned for those updates. I, there was a few folks I think we're holding out to, um, you know, to see those come through. So we'll, we'll have those posts coming up soon. Um, in addition to that, uh, please, uh, if you've already backed the project, share it with your network of comic book reading friends and family. It's a huge help uh, to get more visibility on this. And if you haven't backed, uh, check us out at the link below. Link below, and we would love uh, to have your support. Um, again, you know we're about forty percent of the way funded, and about fifty percent of the way through the campaign. So in these last two weeks, it will be an enormous. Uh, you know, challenge to close that gap, but I think I think we can do it. Um, and I assure you, the quality of Lady Dark Number Two is top notch. It's uh, 
it's again, it's my favorite uh, book that I've done to date. So um, hopefully you all uh, check it out and help make Lady Dark 2 happen. If you missed out on Lady Dark number one, no worries. We have bundles that have issue one and issue two, so you can catch up um, super easily. Uh, we have that available, so check those out on the campaign as well. And uh, yeah, thanks everybody for your support. We'll have future updates in the days ahead, and we will talk soon. Thanks. Bye.